Much more so than villains, superheroes have often remained fairly static and unchanged throughout the decades. Other than modernizing to keep with the times, the continuity of the company, or editorial whims, there are many heroes that look basically the same as they did when they debuted. However, there are some heroes who not only have evolved, but have changed so drastically throughout the passage of time. And that's what we're here to talk about today, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 comic book heroes improved through retcons. Number 10. Carol Danvers Now, Carol Danvers was a young girl who dreamed of the stars. She joined the Air Force to become a pilot and pay her way through college. Her military service included spy work that had her cross paths with Logan, Ben Grimm, Nick Fury, and others. Retiring to become the captain of security at NASA, Carol soon became suspicious of Dr. Walter Lawson, who was secretly the Kree Captain Marvell. Becoming subjected to a psych magnetron, Danvers was transformed and gained superpowers from Marvell's name. Mega bands. Taking the name Ms. Marvel, she became a popular feminist superhero. Now, Ms. Marvel joined the Avengers and did well until she was subjugated and violated by the extra dimensional being Marcus. Escaping, she was violated again when mutant terrorist Rogue stole her powers, psyche, and personality. Carol got the memories back thanks to Charles Xavier, but never the feelings. She went to space with the Star Jammers and developed vast cosmic powers as binary. Returning to Earth and losing much of her power, she took the name Warbird and rejoined the Avengers. An alcohol problem nearly cost her that job, but she got help from Tony Stark. Time as Earth's most popular superhero in the House of M and the revelation that she was the daughter of a Kree super soldier caused Carol to fully embrace her heritage as Captain Marvel, making her one of the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe. Number 9. Arsenal. Roy Harper was originally the son of a park ranger who died. He was raised by his friend, Chief Bravebow, and the young Roy was an archery prodigy and impressed Green Arrow with his skills. Knowing that he was dying, Bravebow asked the hero to look after the boy. The Emerald Archer then trained Roy and made him his sidekick, Speedy. The young Bowman also joined other sidekicks in the Teen Titans. But after the Titans broke up and Ollie was traveling with Hal Jordan, Roy turned to drugs for comfort. Enraged, Arrow fired Harper. Roy eventually got clean with the help of Black Canary and went on to become a spy called the Outsider, as well as a Justice Leaguer. He also had a daughter with assassin Cheshire. In the New 52, the future Arsenal was raised by Big Bo and was accused of Bo's murder, which he couldn't refute because he was blackout drunk. The Titans had forgotten about their time together because of the villainous Mr. Twister and did not reunite until years later. Instead, Roy joined the Outlaws with Red Hood and Starfire. Harper was killed at the Sanctuary by Savitar, though this was actually staged to make it look like Wally West had committed the act. Roy then returned to life when the multiverse was reset at the end of the Dark Metal saga, but declined to inform any of his former friends or teammates. He then set down his bow and signature trucker cap and started hitchhiking. Number 8. The Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff was of Romani-Serbian descent and was the twin sister of Quicksilver. Originally believed to be mutants, they were rescued by Magneto from an angry crowd and pressed into his first incarnation of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. The pair joined the Avengers and Wanda used her hex bolts that seemed to alter probability around her. She also began to learn true magic with Agatha Harkness. Wanda fell in love and then married the Vision and they had twin sons sons, which were actually magical pieces taken from Mephisto, who then later reclaimed them, and Harkness made her forget the children, for a time at least. Hardships and truth piled up on the witch. She gained chaos magic and reality manipulating powers, which led to a breakdown that caused the deaths of several Avenger teammates and the dissolution of the team. Quicksilver convinced her to create a reality where mutants ruled, and it worked until Earth's heroes rebelled. Before she set things right, however, Wanda said no more mutants, which depowered over 90% of the world's mutants, killing hundreds. It was eventually revealed that she and Pietro were not actually mutants at all, but humans who had been genetically manipulated by the High Evolutionary. She also came from a long line of Scarlet Witches and Warlocks, and having absorbed the Darkhold, was one of the most powerful magic wielders in existence. Initially a pretender on Krakoa, the sorceress created circumstances that mutants could be rescued naturally on the island, making her the redeemer of mutant kind. Number 7. Cyborg 
Victor Stone was the intellectually gifted and athletically inclined son of two scientist parents. When visiting their lab, a gelatinous creature from another dimension broke through and killed his mother, as well as destroying most of Victor's body. His father, Silas, saved the poor teen's life by grafting experimental cybernetic parts to his damaged body. Having to relearn even the simplest of tasks, the now transformed youth became resentful and angry about his predicament. This attitude continued long after joining the Teen Titans. It was only after meeting a group of young kids whose prosthesis, who saw Vic as a hero and a mentor, and embracing Changeling's friendship, did Cyborg start to tackle his new life. The New 52 saw Silas Stone working at Star Labs, and it was a new Genesis father box that exploded and destroyed much of Victor's body this time around. To save his son, Silas enlisted the aid of fellow doctors Sarah Charles and T.O. Morrow, and the trio added a number of technologies to the mix, including a responsometer from Dr. Will Magnus, Professor Ivo's A Maze program, and much more. The father box revealed Darkseid's planned invasion as well, and as he came online, a group of parademons attacked and Cyborg blew them and, well, half a wall away. Incorporating a mother box into his technology, Vic boom tube to where Superman, Batman, and other heroes were battling Darkseid as well as more parademons. Cyborg used his technology to send Darkseid away and help them form the Justice League. The technological wonder befriended the young hero Shazam and continually upgraded his systems as well as his hardware. Number 6. Moira McTaggart Moira McTaggart was a Nobel Prize winning expert in the field of genetic mutation, and she was once the fiancé and confidant of Professor Charles Xavier. The scientist later opened an island research centre and eventually met and fell in love with Sean Cassidy, who was the X-Men's Banshee. As well as taking on a surrogate motherly role to young mutant Wolfbane, she contracted and eventually died from the legacy virus, unable to find a cure. It was later retconned in the House of M that Moira was a mutant with the power of reincarnation and complete recall of all of her past lives. Her abilities allowed her to shape the course of events through her actions and how she manipulated those around her. By her third life, she comes up with a cure for mutants but ran afoul of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. She spent her next several lives searching for the best path through Xavier, Magneto, or Apocalypse. Moira's tenth life unfolded as she subtly manipulated forces to eventually create the island nation of Krakoa and the resurrection protocols that made mutants virtually immortal. She made sure that both she and Xavier had children with reality warping powers, and she worked behind the scenes to bring Xavier and Magneto together and to create Krakoa's financial independence as a major pharmaceutical power. McTaggart pushed to keep destiny or other precogs from being resurrected, but when it happened, she was discovered. Mystique robbed her of her mutant powers, but thanks to Cypher, she escaped. Number 5. Green Lantern John Stewart John Stewart was an architect who was approached to be the second substitute Green Lantern when Guy Gardner was in a coma. Hal Jordan was initially apprehensive of the belligerent and anti-authority Stewart, but the Guardian stood by their choice. Stewart did things his own way, but he was far from perfect. John lost his wife to star Sapphire, and he also failed to prevent the destruction of the planet Zanshi. Stewart was put in charge of the Mosaic Experiment, where a mad Guardian had collected many alien communities together. He soon began to heal and forgive himself. Forging the Mosaic into a true society, he became the first human Guardian or Master Builder. Sadly, it all came crashing down when the Parallax possessed Hal Jordan destroyed the central power battery and the Guardians. John became a Dark Star until he was crippled and later healed by Jordan. But when it came to Rebirth, Stuart's origin story was retconned, showing him to be a talented marine sniper. A distinguished lantern, John was one of the Honor Guard and had been on the front lines of every major battle the Corps engaged in. He was a mainstay of several League teams and helped design the Hall of Justice. Stuart has recently ascended to a higher evolutionary level, wielding Lantern's powers connected directly to the source. Number 4. Supergirl Kara Zor-El was rocketed as an adolescent from Argo City, a doomed locale that survived the initial destruction of Krypton but eventually fell to the kryptonite poisoning. Kara arrived on Earth and assumed the identity of Linda Lee Danvers. She kept her powers secret at Superman's request until she gained complete control of them. After graduating, in addition to attending college, Kara held many careers but her superhero career took precedence, even over her social life. She was then killed by the Anti-Monitor whilst saving Superman and Crisis on Infinite Earths wiped her memory from existence. The modern Supergirl, however, crash-landed in Gotham Harbor and attacked the Man of Steel when she first met him, believing him to be an imposter. From her perspective, Cal should be a baby and she had been sent to Earth to protect him, but it was soon discovered that her rocket had been caught in an asteroid field for many years while she was in suspended animation, so she was now younger than her infant cousin. 
Trained with the help of Batman and Wonder Woman, the Maid of Might began a superhero career but had a number of missteps. She fell under the thrall of Darkseid and almost destroyed the Earth to bring Krypton back and had trouble breaking free of her connection to the Red Lantern Ring. Rebirth saw her as an operative of the DEO and a member of the Justice League on two different teams. Number 3. The Winter Soldier Now, James Bucky Barnes' original origin story was that he was an orphan and became a camp mascot. He soon discovered the secret identity of Steve Rogers as Captain America and became his young sidekick. Bucky also conducted side missions for the brass that the idealistic Rogers would not approve of. The pair joined other costumed heroes in a number of teams to fight the Nazis, including the invaders. But eventually the young hero apparently died in the explosion of an experimental plane. But Barnes hadn't died. Although the explosion had cost him his left arm, he fell into the freezing water and into suspended animation much like Rogers. Bucky was discovered by a Soviet submarine but was a virtual amnesiac, so he was reprogrammed to hate the West and was sent to conduct strategic assassinations as the Winter Soldier. Then, after completing a mission, he was placed in cryostasis until he was needed again, all the while being improved with a number of bionic arms. Sent to assassinate the Red Skull and obtain the Cosmic Cube, the Winter Soldier finally ran into Captain America. The pair battled and Rogers used the cube to return Bucky's memories to him. James fled and went looking for his handler, General Lucan, and obviously the Red Skull, who it turned out were the same person. Barnes began to rebuild his life and right his wrongs, and he even took over Cap's identity when it appeared that Steve had been assassinated and led the new Avengers. Number 2. Wonder Woman Wonder Woman's origin story began with her mother, queen of the immortal Amazons, who so desperately wanted a child that she molded one out of clay and prayed to the gods to give it life. Princess Diana grew up on Paradise Island until the day that Steve Trevor crashed onto the island. She won the right to return him to man's world as Wonder Woman. But later on, this story was retconned so that Diana is the biological daughter of Hippolyta and Zeus, king of the Greek gods. The Golden Age of Wonder Woman was intrinsically attached to World War II. The Silver Age one was a found member of the Justice League, but when Crisis on Infinite Earths wiped her out from existence, her place was taken by Black Canary. A new Diana was then introduced into the post-crisis world. In the modern incarnation of Wonder Woman, she is nigh on invulnerable and an incredibly powerful demigoddess who first appeared in the 1940s but stopped when Congress came after the superheroes to unmask or retire. Diana's most recent return to man's world was when Darkseid unleashed parademons on the Earth and brought together the current version of the Justice League. And Number 1. Red Hood Jason Todd came from a home with a criminal father and an alcoholic mother, and the boy ended up running with gangs from an early age in order to support his mother. Believing that she had died and having nothing to lose, the young delinquent tried to steal the tires from the bloody Batmobile. Expecting to be beaten, Jason was instead offered food by the caped crusader. Batman took Todd in and, after intense training, made the lucky young man the second Robin. Jason was a reckless Robin, breaking rules and using excessive violence towards criminals. Discovering that his mother was actually still alive, he travelled to the Middle East to find her, but was captured by the Joker, who then beat his hapless victim nearly to death with a crowbar and then killed him in an explosion. Batman arrived seconds too late to save his partner. But Todd was eventually resurrected six months later by Talia al Ghul and was trained by the all-cast Bronze Tiger and Lady Shiva. He eventually returned to Gotham as the new crime boss, the Red Hood. After failed attempts to get revenge on the Batman and the Joker, the Hood became a force of deadly justice throughout the world. He created two teams of outsiders and, over time, slowly reconciled with each member of the Bat family. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 comic book heroes improved through retcon. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules, and you can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ, but the O is a zero, or Instagram, where it's the same handle. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.